Renick here. I'm an artist and an art teacher, and today I'm going to show you how to save yourself a ton of time and stress in Power Teacher. So I'm going to show you, if you don't already know, how to create an email list or to email students within seconds. The way I use it is I am creating an email list and saving it in a couple different places so that I can email students, I can have access to that information, and to individually invite all of my students to my new Google Classroom for our new semester. So hopefully this will be helpful for you. It was a revelation for me. Thankfully other teachers shared this information and I am putting it all together for a quick video. So, so let's just get started right away, all right? Oh, if you find this useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks for tech and for teaching and more art lessons. All right, let's go. All right, so here I am. I'm already in Power Teacher and I've already signed in and I don't have an email icon next to my printer. So here's how we're gonna do it. We can either click on Power Teacher Pro up on the top left-hand side or we can click on it right by the class that we want to use, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm just going to check the little gear settings icon up on the right hand side to make sure it says hide filter. If not, it would say show filter and I would click on that so that I have the filter option. So now I'm in assignments and I'm gonna click on the plus sign up on the top right hand side. And instead of clicking assignment, I'm gonna click on the email option. So after a couple seconds, it's going to populate your student emails and you can just click on the box on the top left hand side and choose all of your student emails. If I wanted to contact guardians, I would do the same on the right hand side over here. If I wanted to filter who I'm contacting, I would play around with the filters up at the top. But right now I have my email and if I wanted to send a message to everybody, I would just click the message tab at the top and send my email from there. What I want to do is use this email list as a list. So I'm going to click copy emails at the bottom in the middle. And then I can go to a Google Doc and I can just control or command V to paste everybody. Uh, and of course I'm blurring out their names, but I could do that. I could go to my email and in the to section, I could do the same thing and paste it in there and then send my email. And then lastly, the way that I am gonna use it is make a new class because I haven't started my new class and I wanna do it and I don't wanna take more than one minute. So I'm gonna go like this. Hit the plus to make a new class, create class. Then I'm gonna call it run it new class for this demo. And we're gonna say second block and create. Now I have a new class. There's no content or people yet. So I'm going to go to the people tab at the top and go down to students and click the little person with a plus sign. And then I am going to paste those same addresses in there and then click add recipients. Now it has everybody's email in there and this is going to send them each their own invite to the class. That way I know I have the right students, not somebody who has the same name but is not the right student. So it's going to get the right student and also it's going to be specific to those students so not just a code that's put out that anybody could get into the class so this allows only the students that you really want in the class to be in the class and then you click invite so that is the shortcut and again you can email your students from here you can make your email list from here you could do the same thing with your guardians if you just click on that and you can use the filter to choose how you want to contact people that's it Hopefully you can use that in your own classroom. Like I said, you can use the email list to either copy and save on a document for later. You can use it right away to set up a Google Classroom, or you can use that same tip to email straight from Power Teacher anytime you want to. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.